Are we getting a second booster course pass as a part of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? It's a question that's been at the forefront of the Mario Kart community ever since the release of Wave 5, and with Wave 6 potentially being days away from its inevitable reveal, a lot of people are speculating if in fact a second booster course is on the way. So today I'm going to look at all the arguments for a second booster course to see how likely it actually could be. I kind of fucked up. <laughs> Uh, not kind of, I did, I did. So when I was originally kind of, you know, just rough drafting this video, um, there was one key point that I thought pretty much confirmed, not confirmed, but like was a very good argument for why we'd be getting a second booster course, and that had to do with missing tour tracks. Uh, I'm not sure if I've said it before, but I have never played Mario Kart Tour, and I know it's shutting down, but I wasn't really planning on it either. So whenever we were getting rumors of what tour tracks were going to be in what wave, I assumed that they were already in the game. Uh, so the same obviously went to this Orlando track. Uh, I remember back around Wave 4 and Wave 5, there was a heavy rumor about an Orlando theme track. Um, so I assume that was in the game. Um, I, I vaguely remember seeing pictures, but it must have been a mock-up uh, because when I went to do research for it, um, the Orlando one was the only one missing and there was no Orlando one. And I, you know, searched on some forums. Apparently it was like rumored for Mario Kart Tour first and it just never happened. Um, which was going to be the key point. And, you know, looking back, if Orlando's the only one that they didn't do, that seems kind of strange. Uh, but basically the point was, you know, we're missing this Orlando track, so they're going to probably want to have it in Booster Course Pass 2 so they could salvage it, but there was never any Orlando track. Along with Daisy Circuit, the latest Nintendo Direct revealed that we will be getting Funky Kong, Diddy Kong, Pauline, and Peachette as new characters in Wave 6. However, the inclusion of all four characters presents a problem to the base booster course pass. So back when Birdo was added in Wave 4, it was confirmed to us that we would be getting five additional characters on top of Birdo coming to us in Waves 5 and 6. Wave 5 brought us Kamek, PD Piranha, and Wiggler, leaving two more character spots open for Wave 6. As you can see, this ain't two, it's fucking doubled. So where exactly are we gonna be putting the other two characters? There just isn't enough room here to make it look neat. Now, I know this is a bit of a stretch, but what if Nintendo also wanted to salvage a bunch of the character models from Tor as well? I don't think this will actually happen with all the different costume changes for characters, but it does beg the question of what more we could be getting that we aren't being told about. I mean, we're still missing a few key characters in Mario Kart, like Nabbit, Hammer Bro, and the fucking B. As of right now, the overabundance of characters is the only tangible piece of evidence in support of a second booster course pass, and although it isn't as substantial as let's say a missing course from Tor, it is a pretty solid argument. <laughs> This one, I'll admit, is kinda confusing, so to start off, it says that as of right now, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the Mario Kart equivalent to Smash Ultimate. If you've played both games and are fans of both the Mario Kart series and the Smash series, this one is pretty obvious. I mean, both of the most content-filled titles in their respective series, and with the main marketing ploy for the booster course being the return of fan-favorite courses, it's safe to say that this is the most quintessential Mario Kart to date. So far, Nintendo has added so much to this game. New courses, returning characters, and of course, fan favorite stages. It's the most Mario Kart for your buck, just like how Smash Ultimate was the most Smash for your buck. But why is any of this important? Well, the key thing here has to do with Smash Ultimate's DLC. You see, Smash Ultimate had two DLC passes even with how content heavy the base game was. The argument here is that Mario Kart will do something similar, releasing two booster course passes just like Smash released two DLC passes. This is a really compelling argument if you look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as being the Mario Kart equivalent to Smash Ultimate, which it really is, but unfortunately there really is no physical evidence to back this at all. It's all based on precedent set by another series. Above everything else that I've listed here, the most important factor to consider on whether or not a second booster course is going to happen has to do with the Switch 2. I recently did a separate video talking about this. If you haven't seen it yet, there is a link for it, but the main gist of the video is this. I believe that the Switch 2 will actually be the long-awaited Switch Pro, and if this actually ends up being the case, then I find it will be very likely that we get a second booster course pass. However, if the Switch 2 is a completely new console like a lot of people are theorizing, then it's safe to say that the second booster course is dead in the water. At the end of the day, I don't think Mario Kart 8 can or will be ported to a third generation of consoles. Conversely, if we are getting a Switch Pro, I'm not sure having a new Mario Kart game come out now is going to be what Nintendo decides to do. At the end of the day, Nintendo's future console, Switch Pro or not, will be the determining factor for whether or not the second booster course pass does in fact happen. <laughs> 